Hi everyone, it's Aset. I'm over here at thegoddessinside.com where you can find out more about online courses and events that I have coming up and even traveling to Egypt. So today what I wanna share with you though is an answer to a question that I get asked quite often, which is how do I learn to work with a guide? How do I receive messages from them? How do I learn to work with them? Um, how do you do that? That is all based in your sixth sense and you cannot really access your sixth sense until you begin to work with your five senses. So thinking about the way that things look, noticing the way that things sound, noticing how your body feels, um, these are all ways in which to connect to your intuition because these moments of intuition and insight that you're going to be receiving notices and messages from your guides, these come in very subtly. Not very often do they come in, um, you know, with, with drummers and a whole band and lights and, you know, firecrackers. Um, they're very, very subtle. And, you know, you've got your different clairs. You've got, if you're clairaudient, means you hear things. If you are clairsentient, that means you feel things. If you're clairvoyant, um, that means that you have visions and you see things. So, or you know things. Um, so just know that by working with each of your five senses each and every day, that that is one way to begin to open up your intuition so that you can receive a message from your guides. Now, if you have been to my website, you know that I am the all Egypt girl. Then within the Egyptian pantheon, there are literally hundreds of gods and goddesses. This is because you've got gods and goddesses that were worshiped in the larger cities, and then you've got all of the villages and they had some of their own local deities. So, um, how, how do you distinguish who's who? Um, even within the Celtic or the Roman or the Greek pantheon, um, there are so many different gods and goddesses. So if you don't know where to start, just maybe go back to your childhood or even now. What is an area that piques your interest? Do you love all things about Ireland and Scotland and the UK? Um, and those types of um, the fairies and things like that really draw to you or talk to you. Um, or do you really enjoy the Greek mythology? Do you, are you like me and you enjoy the Egyptian gods and goddesses? Start there. Start to learn about the different gods and goddesses in your pantheon and what it is that they are concerned with. Read about their stories, things that they overcame. Look at ways in which you can identify with them because these are the ones that may step forward for you. Sometimes you can choose a god or a goddess to work with. Like let's say you want to um, really focus all of your attention on um, this goddess behind me, the goddess Hathor. Um, and so then you would learn about her and you would learn about how to um, lay offerings for her, what are the things that are important to her, um, those kinds of things, and really begin to listen in meditation or while you're taking a walk or while you're washing your hair or folding the laundry. Um, these are the, the moments when intuition and messages can come through. It doesn't always have to be when you're sitting down in your own position and, and meditating. So you can choose a god or a goddess to connect to and to listen to. If you'd like to go into meditation with them, sometimes it helps if you want to write, have a pen and pencil or a pencil and paper uh, in which you can write thoughts that you get. You can write them a letter and then write a response that seems to be from them. It might sound like it's coming from your imagination, um, but know that many times there's great insight within your imagination and that you're imagining it for a reason. Um, another way that you can receive messages is that if they come to you, so sometimes you might all of a sudden, you know, be drawn to a name or um, something that you never heard of before. And so then you look them up and 
you know, what do you know? Um, the thing that they are most interested in or that their characteristics focus on is something that you are focusing on in this moment. Um, I remember one time I was walking through the hallway of my house and I heard the name Mithras and I'm like, what in the world is a Mithras? Well, at the time I was very, very into the energy of the sun itself and looking at solar flares and how that affects um, the planet and how that affects our bodies and how that affects the radio waves. And I come to find out that Mithras, um, he's a sun god. So um, that was really fascinating for me. Um, the name Hathor came to me in a meditation in a channeling class. Never had heard of her before. Um, so these are things that can kind of pop in, but those are the kinds of things that tend to happen once you begin to learn to work with your sixth sense by working with your five senses. So working with um, what, the way things taste, the way things look, the way things that sound. Um, try to isolate sounds. Notice how you hear things. Um, those are some ways that you can begin to receive messages um, from your guides and how you can work with them. As far as working with them then, um, what does that mean? That means that you have an inner dialogue with them about things that you have going on in your life that you might have a question or a concern about. Maybe you get a deck of cards that is aligned with that particular being. You know, there, there's a Mother Mary deck of cards. There's a Kuan Yin deck of cards. Um, of course, I've got, you know, our deck of cards, which is based on Egypt. So um, those are the ways that you can kind of finish the conversation or start the conversation with them is by asking them and pulling a card and seeing what their message is for you. So those are just some of the ways that you can begin working with guides and how you can receive messages from them. And I hope that that was helpful. If you have any questions about this or you'd like a reading or you want to take a class, please visit me at thegoddessinside.com. My name is Aset. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time.